Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Well, I've completed all the level grinding. It took me about an hour, plus some time that I took for shopping. The good news is that this is all the level grinding that I'm planning to do until the very end of the game. Now we have the all-important Bolt 3 spell that will be very useful very shortly for a couple of boss fights. Now for the shopping, I um, didn't get anything for Cecil immediately, but I did get some stuff for Kane there. I got uh, two Aegis Shields, uh, one for him and one for Cecil later, when he'll eventually get a better one-handed weapon. Also notice I equipped Kane with the Defender. The reason for this is that it is not only stronger than the Blizzard Spear, but it also increases his vitality by 15, which in turn affects his defense as well. Now, contrary to popular belief, Kane's jump command is not doubled when using spears. That ability was not installed until Final Fantasy V, actually. So, using the sword, just as good as using a spear as far as Kane is concerned. So, that's it for the warriors. I didn't get anything for Edge there. Now, for Rosa, I purchased the energy staff. It increases her will by 10. And, uh, I mean, her mute arrows aren't going to be useful any longer, so... Um, I don't need those anymore, but I do want to hold on to the Yuichibo for later. And also I got two light robes, one for Rosa, one for Rydia, since it increases uh, both wisdom and will by five. So, And finally, I purchased an extra fairy rod for later, so I'm going to hold on to that. The Yuichibo, the Age of Shield, and two ruby rings, as well as uh, these claws and stuff here. So... That's everything we got there, so let's check out the library in the Phantom World. It's right over here. Let's check it out. A few books. Haha. <laughs> yeah, a few. Quiet in the library. Let's see what's in these bookshelves. Titan. Ifrit. Yeah, we know about that. Summoning no one knows about. Queen of Ice. The most adorable of the phantom beasts. Chocobo. Haha. <laughs> Cave connects our world with the human world. Much longer history than the human world. Okay. Very few possess this power of summoning. Yeah, thanks to me. Haha. <laughs> Room of the Phantom Beast King and Queen. Law is to have a heart of strength and pure. Affirm by strength and test their soul by combat. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. The Sylphs channel the life energy of their foes into themselves. Odin. He was only defeated when a bolt of lightning struck his sword. Get out of the way. The Phantom Beast King appeared from the Northern Ocean. He is without rival, huh? Libra does not work on, but the Master Dictionary works. Oh, okay. Well, now you know. So that was true, I guess. Let's see what these shells have to say. The Queen of the Phantom World. She is the gateway to his audience. We have to defeat her in order to talk to the King. Okay. Two moons, one in ancient times, and one now. Go to the one who surpasses the Phantom Beast King. There's the Phantom Beast God watching us from afar. He does not know defeat. You have to reflect his power on himself. Remember this, viewers, for later. Yeah, we're going to run into him, obviously. The Mystery of Eternity. A great ship came from the moon to the earth and sleeps in the belly of a dragon. Okay. This is the room of the Phantom Beast, King and Queen. Oh, he's just an old man. Huh, that's weird. You need permission from the Queen to speak to the King. Okay, well, let's talk to her. We need your power. Bound by the law, the Phantom Beast must prove my worth in combat. Do I have the courage to challenge her? Yes, I do. Let's do it! Now, Ashura is a... Uh, weird boss you have to um because she has well as you can see quite a bit of healing spells so we're not going to be able to damage her very well early on so what i have to do is get to rosa's turn to cast reflect on ashura to bounce all of her healing spells away from her 
and hopefully not die in the process. She has pretty powerful physical attacks. So, let's get Reflect going. Now, the nice thing about, um, well, the, th the thing is about casting Reflect on her is that Rydia can't cast spells on her. But fortunately, uh, the Titan Summon will go under it. Now I'm going to have Edge uh, throw that Blood Spear at her. Cast Titan there. Good damage. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape here. Da, da, da. Wow, that's some good damage. I'm probably going to have Rosa cast Berserk on Edge next. Yay, he needed some healing anyway. Too bad that Protect didn't bounce off, but eh, whatever. Attack! So yeah, you just repeat this throughout the battle, and it's pretty simple from here, so... Just hope that her, uh, her Reflect Shield doesn't run out. And I may want to heal Edge soon. There we go. Edge is pretty weak here, so you gotta really keep an eye on his HP. Yeah, that's some pretty good damage there. This should do it, I think. Nope, not yet. Need a little more. She's a little tougher in this version than the English version that we got. <laughs> Hurry up. There we go. Call me anytime. Yay, we learned Ashura. Okay, now before talking to the king, I have a little bit of healing to do, so, and I will be right back. Okay, I did all the healing that we needed to do, and also I equipped Edge with the Thunder Claw, which will be useful in this boss fight ahead, so... Let's talk to him. We are the first to defeat Ashura, but you need more than strength to oppose evil. Will you fight with me? Absolutely. I want to get the Leviathan summon. How did he change into a snake, or whatever the hell he is? Eh, whatever. Kane's gonna be jumping here. Since Edge has the Thunderclaw, I want him to use the Bacchus Wine. And obviously I want to have Rydia cast Lightning 3, since he is a creature of the water. Wait for Kane, cast Cure 4 on everyone, and we sh once we get the first Cure 4 spell off, we should be in pretty good shape. There we go, we're all back to full. Man, that Thunderclaw really helps out. So does Bolt 3. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be easier than I remember. Let's get back to Rydia's turn there. Yeah, Edge could be using his um, lightning spell, um, Rajin, but uh, I'm not really worried about that. That does even less damage than his attack with the Thunderclaw there, so... Yeah, it helps to remember that Edge can equip Claws. Oh, man, Kane was in the air at the time. Eh, whatever. I'll just have Rosa wait around for the next tsunami. Or we could just let Leviathan die. I shall lend you my power as master of the oceans, Leviathan! Yay! We learned another summon for Rydia. Call me anytime. Okay, well, let's get out of here. That's all I need to do here. So that's everywhere that I need to explore in the underground, except for the sealed cave to save the last crystal of darkness from Golbez. So I'm going to heal up and head there next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.